Welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jonathan Merriman, joined here by Chris Rice at Richard Childress Racing. We're in the shop, and today we're talking about brakes. And this one's not too uh, light duty, to say the least. Well, no, but you're actually holding one that we're going to run at Daytona Talladega. It's a smaller rotor, so it's not as much friction. You know, Daytona Talladega, we don't want as much friction, but they also brought us out one that we're going to run at Martinsville. So you can see the difference in the two. I mean, it is a lot of difference that you see, and they weigh a lot more at Daytona at, at Martinsville than they do at Daytona Talladega. All right, well, moving on to the caliper and pads. I mean, these things are pretty trick as well. I guess if you have a high-end sports car, you're going to see something that thick on the brake uh, in the brake caliper here. But you know, what's the difference in between this and the in the short track setup? Well, you keep picking up. He keeps picking up the lighter weight one, but this is one that we'll run at Daytona at Talladega. Very small pad something like we said don't want much friction this is the style that we'll run at Martinsville a lot thicker so we're gonna have a lot more heat it's gonna have a lot more friction so you can kind of see the difference in how thick the pad is for Martinsville but that's the difference you see in between Talladega Daytona to Martinsville style and if you're hot riding at home you can't just go to the parts store and buy this stuff. you cannot go to the parts store and buy this stuff you got to get it from a racer vendor so yeah all right, thanks, Chris, and thank you for watching Tech Talk. Make sure you stay logged on to NASCAR.com for all of your racing technology information.